Hello and welcome to Thursday. It is cake making time. Um, we're doing something a bit different for a cake, not the traditional uh, like flour kind of cake that you're used to. We're doing a uh, special kind of cake. We got all the ingredients laid out for the base. It is a triple chocolate mousse cake. Uh, it's a three layered cake. We'll be doing a base layer of dark chocolate, um, then a middle layer of dark chocolate, and then a top layer of white chocolate. We've got the oven preheating, got the spring form, ah, spring form pan that I got the other day. Uh, this is all the ingredients for the base, ignore the squash. Uh, we got butter, we got a lot of chocolate in here. Uh, there you go, you can probably see it. No, maybe, maybe not. Uh, there we go, that's chocolate. Uh, it's white and brown sugar in that cup. We got some water, butter, and um, vanilla extract. Okay, I'm gonna get working on the cake. I gotta, well, at least the base layer. And then from there, we'll uh, just get working on the each layer by layer. So hopefully this will turn out okay. If it doesn't, then gotta think of something quick. Okay, it's right about 12 o'clock right now. Uh, the uh, base layer, is still in the oven at the moment it should be coming out in just a couple minutes um but i chopped up the rest of the chocolate this is going to be for the mid layer if i can there we go uh this is going to be for the top layer Ooh. and um also uh you can probably see where i got a little bit of egg on my shirt unfortunately but uh <laughs> uh yeah it's that's that'll wash out but it's like whatever I tried uh, scrubbing it down with a little bit of water but that didn't help um, so we've got pretty much everything uh, this once it comes out of the oven it needs to set up in the fridge for a couple of hours uh, just to cool and just to firm up and that leads me to my next point uh, the recipe I'm using was written terribly by the way so <laughs> I will probably do my own write-up and uh, see where we go from there at least an Americanized version of it, because this is a British recipe, and oh boy, it's it's could be done much better. Um, the reason I say that is because they separated the uh, amount of double cream. So for British recipes, they have something called double cream, which in Americanized terms is basically heavy whipping cream. But like it's creamier, I guess. There's like a more butter content or something. Anyway, um, what they did is they said that you need 480 milliliters. This is 473, so close enough. Um, seven milliliters, not gonna make too much of a difference. And then on a separate line, a little bit before that, they said, oh, you also need uh, like 240 milliliters. And I'm like, reading the recipe now, I'm like, wh why didn't you specify this? I say this recipe is written badly in the sense that um, for the base layer they called for a little bit of a uh, teaspoon of vanilla to be added. It was in the ingredients list. It was not in the rest of the recipe at all. So uh, and they had this again this separated by so I just need to figure out how much uh, heavy cream. So I need to go to the store as soon as this is done. Uh, where did I put my phone? I had it just seconds ago. Yep. I was gonna say, uh, my phone should be going off, uh, saying that, uh, this should be done, and looks like it is. Uh, so, I'm going to take this out of the oven, uh, it's in a bain, uh, bain marie or whatever you call it, in, and that is, uh, uh, it's, it's a springform pan that's in a... It's in a tray filled with water. It should be a quote unquote roasting tray, but we do not um, have that in this household. So unfortunately, uh, we'll see uh, what exactly comes out. Uh, let me see how this is looking actually. Uh, Should be good. Let me just give it a little shake. I'm not so sure. It should. Um, I'm gonna give it another like five minutes, 
And then after those five minutes, uh, let me set the timer, I will take it out. So let me just do that now. Um, okay, so in five minutes, I'll take this out and then record that. So uh, let's be back in just five minutes. Okay, so that's what we're looking like for the base layer. Um, I'm not so sure if it should be as a uh, wiggly as it is. I'm not showing up too well on camera, but uh, I'm gonna actually stick a toothpick through it. I don't. It was in. I left it in for 40 minutes instead of the 30, so I'm not so sure how well that's gonna make it. But hopefully, it'll set up in the fridge. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge. Get ready to head out and um, go get the rest of the heavy cream. And uh, we'll meet back here in a little bit. Okay, we're in the fridge now. It's um, actually... Ooh, ooh, let me let me grab this camera. Hello. This is very close up. Ooh, ooh. Oh god, I cannot hold this thing. There we go. It's uh, actually a bit firmer than I thought it was, so I think we're okay. Uh, that being said, it's going to set up in the fridge for a couple of hours, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead to the store, pick up the heavy cream. Hopefully it won't be raining out. It looks like it's okay now. Um, we should be expecting some rain sometime soon. I don't know when, but based on the weather radar, it sh looks like it's missing us at the moment. So I'm going to go now while there's a chance of uh, me not getting drenched. Okay, it's about 10 to 2 and we are looking good. It's pretty solid right now. Um, not much jiggle at all. And I can tap it pretty, oh well. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, I should close the fridge. But uh, I'm gonna toss this back in the fridge uh, and get started on the second layer. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, we're working on the second layer. Almost done with it. Just need to spread it out and then put it back into the refrigerator to firm up. But uh, yeah, this is going pretty well so far. Uh, <laughs> when I was, um, so I needed to, well, camera angle. I needed to uh, whip the uh, heavy cream and uh, kind of whipped it a bit too much. Ended up, it said a uh, soft peak, so I ended up with uh, butter as it's uh, com more commonly known. But I think I may do. I need to, I used the uh, stand mixer, so that was the reason behind that. But hopefully it'll be fine just the same. It looks okay. Uh, hopefully after this firms up in the fridge for just a little bit, um, it'll be fine. And then uh, once I am done with that, uh, it will, um, well, uh, then uh, when I add the white chocolate layer, it should be good to go. We'll see how that turns out, but uh, so far so good. Uh, like I said, I, I just need to whip the um, chocolate for it well, whip the uh, heavy cream a little bit less or at least keep a better eye on it when i'm doing it in the um stand mixer so i'm gonna finish with this i know lighting and camera angles are terrible for this shot but finish with this toss in the fridge and then we'll continue on uh, in just a little bit all right the final layer has been applied so i guess now we just uh let this set up in the fridge and see where we're at it's right about five o'clock so you know, this will be done in a couple hours, but I guess we'll leave it overnight and see what happens. Okay, I think we're finally good with this, so I'm gonna put it in the fridge and then we'll find something to do. I think it came out pretty good. Like I said, this layer kinda messed up on, but otherwise it looks all right. Okay, rounding off the evening. It's uh, only 8.30, but I figured we'd call it uh, a bit early today after the excitement of spending quite a bit of time baking that cake and uh oh boy that was i spent like most of the day doing that it it didn't feel like it but i guess only the first layer the, the second two layers didn't really take as long it's just uh preparing them and then just letting them rest i could have done better on the middle layer <laughs> If only I didn't make it, like, butter, but we'll see how it tastes tomorrow. For now, that's where I'm going to call it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see 
to see you tomorrow. And until then, later. <laughs>